Okay, in this video, I'm gonna go over slides 11 and 12, some sample problems for y'all in case you had any questions on them, I wanted to clarify. So I'm looking at the third one, the last problem on slide 11. It says, if you have seven moles of C2H6 and you burn it with 10 moles of O2, who is the limiting reactant? And how many moles of each can you make? Now this problem's a little bit different because the ones that I did in the notes, you had two separate, you had, um, you had just one reactant. In this problem, you have two reactants, okay? So when you do a problem that has two reactants in it, just pick a reactant and convert to the convert to that reactant. So in this case, I'm gonna convert to CO2, moles of CO2, to figure out who the limiting is out of C2H6 or O2. But before I can even do that, I have to balance, okay? So there's two carbons here, one here, so I'm gonna put a two here six here, two here, so I'm gonna put a three here. And then two oxygens, two times two is four, plus three is seven, so this is gonna be 3.5, but I know that I can't do that, so I'm gonna do times two, so this is two, times two, seven, times two, four, times two, six. So my coefficients are two, seven, four, six, okay? now. I've already picked carbon dioxide, that's who I'm gonna convert both of my reactants to. So I'm gonna say question mark moles of CO2 twice. And remember, when you solve for limiting, you have to convert to moles of a substance, okay? Can't go all the way to grams, you have to convert to moles. So the first one is, is I'm given seven moles of C2H6. So I'm gonna say it's equal to seven moles C2H6. And then my other given is the 10 moles of O2. Okay, so let's convert the first one. Set the conversion up. The unit that I'm canceling is moles of C2H6, so that will go on the bottom. The unit that I want is moles of CO2. And since I have a balanced chemical reaction, I have a direct relationship between the two of them. So I'm gonna put moles of CO2 on the top. And then I'm gonna find my numbers. Um, four goes with CO2, two goes with C2H6, so I'm going to put that there, and to solve, so I'm going to go seven times four divided by two, which I could have done without a calculator, I don't know, I just did that, 14 moles of CO2, so that's the first one, but now I have two reactants that were given to me, and I need to be able to compare them, so I have to do it again with the second reactant, which was O2. So same thing here, I'm gonna set the conversion up. I need to cancel moles of O2, so it'll go on the bottom. I want moles of CO2, which is great because I have a balanced chemical equation, so that's the relationship. So I'm gonna put mole of CO2 in the top. Four goes with CO2, seven goes with O2. So 40 divided by seven is 5.7 moles of CO2. So the question I'm gonna ask myself is who is limiting? In this case, it's um, O2. O2 is gonna be the limiting reactant. And the reason why I know that is because I can only make 5.7 moles of CO2. Even though the seven moles of C2H6 can make 14 moles, this right here, the O2 limits the amount that I could make. Okay, so in this case, the 10 moles of O2 is the limiting reactant. The question then says, how many moles of CO2 and H2O can be made? So in this case, I can make 5.7 moles of O2. And then here's the other thing. After you solve for limiting, you use the limiting to solve for everything else. Okay, so then I have to do another question mark. So now I have to say question mark moles of H2O. And now that I've solved for limiting, I know that the equals is going to be the 10 moles of O2. Set the conversion up. Three moles H2O goes in the top. Seven moles O2 goes in the bottom. So 30 divided by seven. Why did I just do that? 30 divided by seven is 4.3. So then I can make 4.3 moles of H2O. So the three answers to this question are 
O2 is limiting, which therefore means I can make 5.7 moles of CO2 and 4.3 moles of H2O. Okay, so that's on slide 11. Let's look at one on slide 12, because on slide 12, it then gives us grams. Okay, so then we have to start thinking about that. So this is the first one on slide 12. So here's my equation. Um, before I even start, I'm going to balance. Um, hydrogen shows up in three places, so I'm going to balance it last. So calcium is balanced. Um, oxygen is not balanced, I need, so I need a two here. Um, chlorine is not balanced, so I need a two here. So then I have four hydrogens here. I'm sorry, two hydrogens here, two here, that's four. Two times two is four, so I'm balanced. So the mole ratio for this balanced chemical equation is one, two, two, one. Okay? Now, question states, if you have 16.7 grams of calcium hydroxide and 32.9 grams of HCl, who is the limiting reactant? Okay, now, these problems won't look any different. We're just going to need two conversions now. I'm going to need a molar mass conversion and a mole conversion because I'm stopping at moles to figure out limiting. Okay, so the first question is, is I have two reactants here, so I'm just going to pick one. I'm, I'm sorry, two products here, so I'm just going to pick one to convert to. I'm just going to pick water because it's the first one. So again, in order to figure out limiting, you have to set up the same conversion for both givens. So I'm going to say question mark moles of H2O is equal to question mark moles of H2O is equal to. Right? And the reason why I do this is so I can compare them. Okay? All right, so the first given is 16.7 grams of calcium hydroxide. The second given is 32.9 grams of HCl. Okay, now based off of what we were doing before, converting, I know that I do not have a relationship between moles of H2O and grams of calcium hydroxide. I need to get grams into moles, and I do that by using this guy, right? The periodic table. Okay, so let's set up the first conversion. The first unit I need to cancel is grams of calcium hydroxide, so that will go on the bottom. And I can put moles of calcium hydroxide in the top because that is the periodic table. So grams cancels, but I don't have moles of H2L, so I need another conversion, which is fine. So this is our molar mass conversion, and now I can do my mole-to-mole -mole conversion using the chemical reaction. So moles of calcium hydroxide will go on the bottom, and then I can go to water, moles of water. So then moles of calcium hydroxide cancels, um, and now I have the unit that I want. So let's do numbers. So if this is molar mass, that means the one goes with mole, and then I have to calculate its mass. So let's pull this up here. So calcium's right here, it's 40.08. And then I have two oxygens, so two times 16, plus 1.01 .01 times two, which is hydrogen. So I'm getting 74.1 grams of calcium hydroxide. And then to get the mole ratio, I look at the balanced chemical equation. So for every two moles of H2O, I have one mole of calcium hydroxide. So now I can figure out how many moles of water I can create. So I'm going to go 16.7 times 1 divided by 74.1 times 2. I'm getting 0.45 one moles of H2O. Okay, but I'm not done, right? I'm not done because I need to compare it. So we're going to do the same thing. Molar mass conversion. So I'm going to need two conversions. Molar mass conversion, mole to mole conversion. Okay? So the first unit I need to get rid of is grams of HCl, moles of HCl, and then I need to cancel moles of HCl and now I can go to moles of H2O because I have a balanced chemical equation. Okay? Same thing. Molar mass, one mole. Hydrogen weighs 1.01. .01. Chlorine weighs 35.45. 
So the mass is 36.46. Mole ratio, balanced chemical equation. For every two moles of H2O, I need two moles of HCl. So here we go, 32.9 times one divided by 36.46, and then times one, because that's itself. So I'm getting 0 0.902 moles of H2O. Now the question states, who's limiting? In this problem, you're looking for the smaller amount of product made. So in this case, 0.451 is the smaller amount, which means this calcium hydroxide is the limiting reactant. Okay, it limits how much product I can make. But the question also asks how many moles of H2O and CaCl2 can be made. We know how much H2O can be made. Now we have to figure out how much calcium chloride can be made. So I'm going to say the same thing. Question mark, moles of calcium chloride. Now, I've already figured out who my limiting is. So I'm going to use that to solve for every other problem with this chemical reaction. So I'm going to say is equal to 16.7 grams of calcium hydroxide. Same conversion for every one mole of calcium hydroxide. It weighs 74.1 grams of calcium hydroxide. And then we do our mole to mole ratio. So mole of calcium hydroxide goes in the bottom. Mole of calcium chloride goes in the top. For every one mole, I make one mole. So I'm gonna come over here and put my equal since I ran out of room. So 16.7 divided by 74.1. I can make 0 0.225 moles of calcium chloride. Okay, that's it. Thank you.